Hey everybody, this is Valkrin. Uh, Patch 3.9's been out for a few days, and I've been doing some testing so far, and these are my results. First up, we have the Kinnon changes. The Kinnon changes were definitely deserved. Kinnon's early game was insane before. I had Kinnon in the god tier territory last patch. I don't think Kinnon's quite god tier anymore. I think Kinnon's still very strong, but the nerf to Kinnon's early game definitely hurt Kinnon. But Kinnon can still basically do the same thing, and that's be a strong laner and transition into team fights. So Kennen's still very strong, but I don't think these are the last of the nerfs that we'll see to Kennen. Next up, we see the brand changes. The brand changes were directly targeted towards brand's mana, making it more efficient in trading and farming during the laning phase. And I like these because now brand can focus more on damage items. My only problem with this is brand is still brand. Brand can still be outplayed because he still has mostly skill shot abilities. I think Brand is strong in his current state. I, I well, maybe not strong, but he's viable. Previously, I just put him at you know an average AP carry, but now I think he might actually have some viable potential in the mid lane. The LeBlanc changes were iffy. I like them, but she they didn't really address the LeBlanc scaling problem, and I think that's why a lot of people stayed away from LeBlanc. Her playstyle now is much more dynamic. There's more room to outplay as LeBlanc. And her early game is actually even stronger now. So she's a much more fun champion to play. The only problem is she's still the same type of champion. And that's, you have to snowball or it's really hard to win. She's, I don't know, they, they need to maybe look at her again. Because her scaling still has significant problems. And her mid to late game is still pretty much in the same category that she was before. But overall I would say she's a better champion now. But she's still the same type of champion that, was she, that she was before. And that's, you get behind, you're going to lose. The Jace nerfs were definitely deserved. The The poke um, coming up from Jace has been significantly hindered. And this is a good thing because previously a mid Jace that gets ahead and gets blue buff can pretty much win the game himself by just out poking the enemy team and forcing down towers. And in the LCS and whatnot, we saw a lot of Jace's carry games just based off of the poke. So Riot definitely targeted down the poke. And we saw some tier nerfs this patch too, and that also hurts Jace. So... We see Jace move from a god tier territory all the way down to strong. I still think he's a good laner, and I still think he has potential, but he's just not god tier anymore. The Shyvana changes didn't really target the problems with Shyvana. She's still a CC list champion compared to the other CC junglers. She has problems in that category, but these buffs help her clear speed by quite a bit. I think she might actually be the fastest jungler in the game right now. The E percentage damage is uncapped so her baron and dragon control is insane you can do dragon and baron very early in the game of shyvana with uh, very few other teammates helping you and the changes to her ultimate are pretty nice because you can pretty much stay in your ultimate during every available team fight it's up very very frequently and you can stay in it longer so previously i had shyvana just as an average champion but right now i think she's honestly very strong she doesn't have a whole lot of cc but they improved everything else about her. She's so fast. She can clear the jungle. She can gank. She might not be as effective at ganking as other champions. But she has a role in the game right now. And I think she does it well. The Nunu nerfs were definitely deserved. But I don't think these are the last of the nerfs that we'll see in Nunu. He's still very, very strong. I don't think Nunu's god tier. But I think Nunu is still very strong. You can still basically do the same thing as Nunu. But... You can't just do the level 1 consume cheese. The Draven nerfs hurt Draven a lot. His passive pretty much defined Draven. Uh, in all honesty, I, I miss his old passive. The new passive is not very good at all. With the change to the passive, his trading potential has been lowered, the kill potential has been lowered, but he's still lane bully and he's still very strong. He can just out damage most other AD carries early game. But it's just harder to get those free kills that you could before just from that ridiculous damage passive. Still think Draven's strong and I still think he's playable. The Quirky buffs were pretty nice because Quirky previously was very mana dependent. So when Quirky would use Valkyrie, which is 100 mana, now it's 50. If he was, if Quirky was forced to use it during the laning phase, it pretty much, it pretty much cut down his harass potential and it made Quirky a weaker laner. So if you get ganked or you had to Valkyrie just to get away from a skill shot or something, previously made him much weaker in lane, but now you can actually do it much more aggressively and more frequently. The mana cost has been halved. So that mana cost or that mana can be moved towards harassing, 
using Valkyrie more frequently. It just makes him an overall much stronger champion. So I think Corky was previously viable. Now I think he's a strong AD carry. I think you'll see a lot more Corkies. The item changes are very, very interesting because I like them and I hate them. The Oracle's changes means you can get it early and you can make more aggressive plays because you can take away the enemy vision. But at the same time, if the enemy gets Oracles, you can't take it away from them anymore. So there, this means that wards are going to be basically mini objectives now. The ward gold has been increased. So whenever you uh, go to clear wards, it's pretty much going to be like, you're, it's going to be a source of income now. Like it, it's, it's a lot. So I don't know. We're, we're going to see this play out. I think in the LCS, we're going to see some interesting things occur, like teams starting oracles at level one to have much more aggressive plays in the enemy jungle because that way you can do it safer. But overall, I, I'm not sure how I feel about these changes. The changes to Mall of Mount Mortis are pretty cool. I, I like the item. Previously, it was very expensive, and it was very iffy to get. The, it, it, the stats have been slightly buffed. Um, it kind of just encourages you to get it. And it's a good item against double AP carry, so you're going to see it much more frequently against double AP carry teams or just teams with heavy AP. Anyways, guys, this is the conclusion to my patch to 3.9. I'll probably have some updates to this once I do some more testing, but overall, the, this is my current consensus of the patch, and I think it does a good job at handling um, all the changes. If you have any questions, leave it below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.